Hello, and thanks for joining us. It's Aaron Carreno, and today we are joined by Adam Bratz, who's the Programs Director of the Wisconsin Veterans Chamber. Also with us today is Chris Moran, who's the Director of Operations for the Wisconsin Veterans Chamber. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning, Aaron. And we have a big week to talk about because this week will be the Wisconsin Veterans Chamber's Milwaukee Veterans Week, November 4th through the 11th. A lot of festivities going on. Yes. And how long have we been celebrating this week? Or how long have you put this week on? This is our fourth anniversary of Milwaukee Veterans Week. And we mostly put it on to promote celebrating veterans on more than just one day. It's as simple as that. Let's take a whole week to recognize what they do. Absolutely. There are so many uh, great uh, companies and organizations out there that that take the time leading up to Veterans Day every year to have events, to have military balls, to have deals and promotions for our veterans and military family members and to celebrate their connections uh, with the military and veteran community. So so we like to link everybody up uh, in addition to putting on our annual flagship uh, events for Milwaukee Veterans Week. We also like to celebrate what or, uh, companies are doing in the community uh, to help support the uh, the veterans and and their families as well. Right. Yeah, this encouraging everybody to take part uh, in this week, including especially local businesses like you're talking about. Right, and a number of our members that participate are veteran owned businesses, so it's like a double win when you support <laughs> a veteran owned business during Veterans Week. Absolutely. So let's start off with the whole weeks of weeks worth of celebrations. I mean, we have we'll take it day by day. At least we'll start with <laughs> Monday. What's happening Monday that everybody should be aware of? Uh, Monday, we, we're hosting our first event of Milwaukee Veterans Week uh, as a chamber, and that would be our annual uh, Veterans in the Workforce Awards Luncheon, where we celebrate some of the best companies, uh, veteran employee resource groups, affinity groups, uh, community partners, and uh, veteran and military family recruiting campaigns of the year uh, through our our. Uh, or corporate community in Wisconsin. Um, so we're celebrating some of the best out there and then a lot of other great nominees as well. And just uh, we're, we're at Harley Davidson. Uh, it's going to be a great atmosphere, great backdrop, great food, and uh, a lot of food, friends, camaraderie. And we're celebrating some good things that are happening in our veteran uh, corporate community. Yep. Mr. Davidson himself, who is now the director of the Harley Davidson Museum, is going to be a guest speaker for us. And we're expecting a speaker from the Department of Workforce Development. Um, the DWD also joined us at our earlier workforce event that took place at the end of September. And they're a great partner in focusing on hiring veterans and gainfully employing the military community because um, we've begun to notice that the military spouse community could use an extra boost in being gainfully employed or full-time employed or employed in something that you know meets their needs. Yeah, and we've talked about that, uh, I believe, a couple of weeks ago regarding mm -hmm. the programs, uh, the initiative to get uh, military families, spouses hired. So this week, uh, we'll not only reiterate some of those, uh, I'd say, programs that you've established, but this event is pretty important because it's the beginning of the week, and our very own Bill, like Bill Davidson is going to be there. I mean, right? that's mm -hmm. a pretty big I'm deal. I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> Milwaukee proud right here. That's right. And at his own Harley Museum. And, you know, we get to celebrate all of the people who are doing all of those hiring initiatives and celebrate them and recognize them and appreciate them for the work that they do in the veteran military community. Now, to reiterate, is this an open invitation? Is it just the businesses? I mean, is there somewhere you can go to register? How does that work? It's totally open. Um, we're on Eventbrite or on our website, wyveteranschamber.org, and uh, tickets are available to anybody who wants to come. At a discounted rate for uh, Veterans Chamber of Commerce members. True. Yep. And what's the website again? Wi tickets. Sure, wyveteranschamber.org. Got it. Also, tickets available on Eventbrite, too, for Correct. those of you who are familiar with that as well. So we start with this week-long marketing and events program. We begin with the Veterans in the Workforce Luncheon. People are going to meet Bill Davidson, which is obviously a pretty important event. And it's in the beautiful Harley Museum, which yeah. we're so proud of here. Uh, but the whole celebration really continues on through the rest of the week. Mm -hmm. Tell us what's happening on Wednesday with the Veterans Business Breakfast. Uh, Wednesday's event, the the business breakfast, is going to be a really exciting event in that we've got some fantastic speakers and panelists 
from the military and veteran influencer community that are going to be sharing uh, some some actionable items for anyone that's interested in learning more about how to market authentically and appropriately to either veteran or military family consumers or looking to attract and retain potential veteran employees. This is all about authentic messaging. Um, our keynote uh, is Shane Krangel who is the CEO of Margle Media here in Milwaukee. He's a Marine veteran as well. And our panel, uh, Kat Ramirez from Adbid Ties, who's uh, a veteran and a CEO. Uh, Andy Wines, who's the CEO of Green Up Solutions, also a veteran, uh, currently in a reserve status, uh, and a CEO as well. And Jessica Dragon, who's the CEO of Spa Massage on the Go and a veteran. So some of the best in the business in this area um, sharing that. And also there's going to be some good food. We'll be at the Marcus Center, so it'll be another great backdrop and uh, some some good networking opportunities there. Yeah, I feel like you're really picking out some of the best establishments uh, here in the city <laughs> to hold all of your events this week. So with this celebration and the Veterans Business Breakfast, which is happening Wednesday morning 8 a.m. at the Marcus Center for the Performing Arts. Now, this venue specifically is important to Milwaukee because they take yeah. part in a little bit of larger presence in our city. That's right. Yeah. The Marcus Center for Performing Arts participates as part of Milwaukee County's War Memorial, which is they put in a specific effort into hosting the different branches and their bands or performers they host a flag day event every year. You know, they run different things like socks and coats for veterans in the winter. And they host some of our events as well out of a partnership with us so that they are specifically tied into the military and veteran community. And they like to give back in that way. So we thank the Marcus Center for Performing Arts for hosting this particular breakfast as well. Yeah, they definitely have stepped up in, in not only helping you out, but they've made themselves known as a venue, as a part of a larger network around the country, uh, putting a special importance on, on these types of events and especially the veterans as well. That's right. All right, so this week, again, in case you're just joining us, Milwaukee Veterans Week, it is the community's go-to way to recognize and celebrate Veterans Day, and there's a ton of programming, uh, programming schedule that we've been discussing, things that are happening this week, but I, I want to really emphasis, I put emphasis on the general public's uh, participation in this week and, and make note that the public is welcome to these events. Absolutely. We would love to say the more the merrier. You know, we're not here just for our members. Anybody is welcome to attend any of our events. And the things that are being presented at our events are for anybody to learn about. So the luncheon that we're having on Monday, you know, we have some non-members that are being recognized because corporations that are here in the Milwaukee landscape are doing a great job for hiring the military community. And we appreciate them even when they're not members of ours. So the general public is welcome to come and attend. And if you think that your employer should be recognized at that breakfast, let us know about it. Secondarily, if you were coming to the breakfast on Wednesday, you know, any company out there is encouraged to advertise to the military community. If you offer services because you're in healthcare or you have a specific product that you think is geared for the military or veteran community, how are you going to authentically advertise it to them? Because I can guarantee that the person sitting next to me, Adam Bratz, has the <laughs> keenest sense of smell for false advertising. <laughs> when you use shoddy images or it seems like you're pandering in a false way, you lose that authentic call to that particular community, they will in fact turn their back on that particular product. And so what we're encouraging at this particular business breakfast is for other businesses, service providers, or even potential employers, like you said, Adam, to figure out how they can best turn their messaging authentically towards this community to draw them in as potential customers or employees. And before we get into the rest of the activities for the week, if you are an employer, if you're an employer looking to really take that step into getting into the chamber, what do they have to do, Adam? How do they go about getting some of the accreditation that they need to really be recognized as a business that supports veterans. Oh, absolutely. So again, we, you don't have to be a member to get recognized or get an award or to have us share your particular veteran or military specific promotion. We're all about uh, building up the veteran and business community as a whole. This isn't, it's not a pay to play sort of thing. Um, 
But if you want to be involved with the chamber, you can visit us at wiveteranschamber.org and learn all about membership. It's a very affordable annual membership, and you get a lot of bang for your buck because we have a huge network um, that that will become available to you. And all of our events, whether it be Monday or Wednesday or Thursday, which I'm sure we'll talk about our our fourth annual uh, anniversary uh, chamber muster, uh, they're great networking opportunities. We're an organization that is not just specifically for veterans. This is a business organization that helps to build up the greater business community in Wisconsin by bridging any sort of communication gaps or barriers between the veteran business community and the rest of, of Wisconsin, the civilian business community. So we don't just talk to one half. We're, we're trying to bridge that gap and create uh, processes and facilitate dialogues that will help uh, employers find veteran talent or ha- employers find um uh, connect with veteran-owned businesses and put them into their supply chain pipeline. So, and benefit their families, too. Absolutely. And so we speak with, if if you're not a veteran or not a veteran-owned business, we want you to hang out with us, too, because there's benefit for you and your business by allowing us to facilitate these dialogues. And there's some great networking opportunities. So we've discussed a little bit of what's been happening this week so far. Again, uh, with us today are Adam Rotz, who's the program's Programs Director uh, for the Wisconsin Veterans Chamber. Also, Chris Moran, who's the Director of Operations for the Wisconsin Veterans Chamber. And we're celebrating Milwaukee Veterans Week, November 4th through the 11th. It's not just a one day when we kind of all get together as a country and it just kind of catches up on us. This is something that we need to really be, I'd say, cognizant of year-round. I mean, veterans just... It's not one day. It's not a one-day deal. So this week really highlights some of these great events that we've already talked about. Uh, We started with the luncheon at the Harley-Davidson Museum. We just got to talking about the Veterans uh, Business Breakfast. And then what's happening at the Milwaukee Yacht Club Thursday? So Thursday is extra special because it's also our anniversary party. And when we get together in our casual setting, we call it a muster because we can't help but use military terminology. (laughs) But we don't require you to work out at these gatherings um, unless shaking hands is a workout for you. Bring a smile, bring some business cards, bring your friends. These gatherings are social. They're fun. We have live music. We're going to have great food because this year our anniversary party is Thursday the 7th at the Milwaukee Yacht Club. And uh, we're so excited to be at such an elite facility. It's going to be gorgeous. Yeah, not only a gorgeous facility, but you meet quarterly, correct? Yes. So this isn't just a one-time-of-year thing. Oh, no. Just right. this one's a little bit bigger. This one's a little more special. a little special. bit better because we like throwing anniversary parties. <laughs> but that's right. We do meet quarterly for musters. And, again, like all of our other events, these are open to the public. You can come, check it out, meet our people, see if some of our events are something you'd like to stay in touch with and become a member of the chamber. So bring a resume, maybe bring a card. I mean, or just definitely bring business cards. Okay, yeah. so keep it and kind of casual that yeah, way. We keep it casual. All you have to do is meet a couple people, shake some hands, make some new friends, have a few beverages, <gasps> enjoy frivolity definitely and friendship. Enjoy. And yeah. yeah, yeah, the the beverages seem to kind of get the conversation going as far as any networking <laughs> event that I've ever been to. There before. will be beverages there. <laughs> uh, Thursday, November seventh, at the Milwaukee uh, Yacht Club. What time right. is that happening? Is that in the evening? Is that in the afternoon? It starts at five thirty. Starts at five thirty. Okay. Starts at five thirty. So people can arrive anytime just after if they're getting Correct. done with work, that sort of thing. Yes. Perfect. Um, I also want to point out that this year we're highlighting a special program that the Milwaukee Yacht Club participated in. They did it in conjunction with the Milwaukee VA Medical Center this summer, where they hosted a group of veterans from the VA to come to the Yacht Club for a series of weeks. And they learned all about sailing and how to, I'm going to say drive a boat, but I don't think I would need to attend the class to actually know what to call that. (laughs) Sail a vessel. I'm not sure what you call it because I haven't done the class. But the Milwaukee Yacht Club, the members there actually offered their vessels and their time to teach the veterans all about sailing. And over a series of weeks, they got them out on the water and enjoying themselves. And then they all learned how to sail a boat. That's outstanding. I know. How cool. So members of their team are going to be there because it's the Milwaukee Yacht Club. You have to be a member to go there. But they're going to come. And we're going to highlight them and appreciate them and the work that they did with the VA. Because the VA runs some amazing programs that 
quite honestly, when we heard about this particular sailing program, everybody I've mentioned it to goes, what? We haven't heard of that. So we're shouting it from the rooftops mm-hmm. now. The Milwaukee Yacht Club is doing amazing things with the Milwaukee VA Medical Center, and we want everyone to know about it. Well, this is an opportunity to get out and check it out. Adam, you wanted to add to that? But you don't have to be a member, I should add, to no. come this Thursday. True. Uh, you don't have to be a member of the Yacht Club or of the Chamber. Just come hang out with us. There's no cover. Let's. There's no cover? Yeah, there's no fee to get in. There's no, no cover. There's no, no cover. there's no cover. We can go with no yeah, cover. We'll That's go with fine. no cover. Come on in and join us. <laughs> so you can come in, bring your business <laughs> card, meet some wonderful people, talk with some veterans who will yep. be there as well. And who knows, you may end up sailing a boat at some point. You could drive a boat. <laughs> through Lake out. Michigan or yeah. the Milwaukee River. I mean, this is it's possible. <laughs> Sky's the limit. Sky's the limit. The water's the limit as well, right? Horizon's the limit? <laughs> I there think you go. we've got it now. I like it. So the fourth annual celebration taking place, again, Milwaukee Veterans Chamber. It's the Milwaukee Veterans Week, the 4th through the 11th, a series of events. Uh, Thursday night, again, 530, you want to join and bring your business cards. Uh, that's happening at the Milwaukee Yacht Club, as you call it, your muster. Yes. Right? The fourth anniversary that's muster. Right. Uh, This week also, there's going to be a lot of opportunities for people to donate. How do they go about doing that? So what we're focused on this week is supporting MHVI, which stands for the Milwaukee Homeless Veterans Initiative. And what they really need at this time is cleaning supplies. The MHVI is one of our nonprofit partners, and they work on either creating a safety net for people who are at risk for homelessness or moving those who have struggled with finding a safe place to live into a better housing opportunity. And so they are in need of cleaning supplies for those new houses for people. And then they also leave them with furnishings and they stock their cupboards. So MHBI is always collecting household goods and food. But in this week in particular, we'd like to focus on cleaning supplies and pantry items. So if you have any boxed food, canned food, that kind of thing that you could bring to any of our events, we will have a collection bin at all three of our events that week. Cleaning supplies and pantry food. So bring a, a Swiffer, a yep. mop, yep. and a, a can Windex. of Campbell's soup. Clorox right? wipes <laughs> and Clorox mac wipes. and cheese. Yeah, any combination you can think of. Cleaning yeah, supplies go. and pantry uh, It food. sounds like everything I have in my home. I'm <laughs> using Lysol and Clorox wipes every day. You can uh, be the first donor. We'll see you Monday. I'm, I just might, actually. Uh, so bring those items. Those are obviously very important, as you talked about. And this week as well, there are also going to be businesses that have some promotions, right, and discounts along with some of these events. Do you want to talk a little bit more about about that? Absolutely. Absolutely. So if you have a military or veteran-specific promotion or military family promotion, all veterans get 20% off blank throughout this week or up through Veterans Day, Uh, you can go to mkeveteransweek.org and submit your promotion, and we'll rep that for free to our to our very large network. Again, this is all about helping out the veteran community. It, uh, this service doesn't cost you or anybody anything. So if you have a specific deal going on through Veterans Week, or if it's a deal for the greater community in celebration of Veterans Day, let us know and let us rep that promotion for you. Um, and the same goes for if you're having any veteran-specific events or celebrations. You can also submit those on mkeveteransweek.org as well, and we'll celebrate those too and share those with our network. Got it. Yeah, you're definitely going to want to get those promotions or those events in today because the mm-hmm. week is going to be right here. We're going to be you don't right want people the, to miss out. Yeah, I was going to say we're going to be at the museum probably in 24 hours of this taping. So absolutely, there is that. Uh, again, you can learn more about Milwaukee Veterans Week events promotions. Again, mkeveteransweek.org. And uh, Chris and Adam, before we wrap up, is there anything you want to add just about this week, just about your experiences over those last four years? I love how the week has been really celebratory and focused on, again, not just being one day. It's not just one meal that a restaurant wants to offer to one particular veteran. It's the whole community. So the promotions go across the whole military community for the whole week. And it really ties together a lot of things like there's events at you know local libraries, schools, VFWs, all all kinds of places all around town and we just like to put a spotlight on it and celebrate it it builds the community's camaraderie and it's been a lot of fun over the years so 
We're looking forward to this year and have an even bigger party on the 7th at the Milwaukee Yacht Club. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, anything you'd like to add before we wrap up? I think she said it all. She's got it. Yeah. Well, good. So, again, if you can summarize the last five minutes or so, bring the Swiffer items, bring the Campbell soup items, That's get right. to the Yacht Club, get to the uh, Harley Davidson Museum right away Monday, and then the Marcus Center for the Performing on Arts Wednesday. on Wednesday. A mm-hmm. lot of events. We appreciate all that you do for veterans here in Milwaukee and, of course, throughout Wisconsin and beyond. Well, well, and thank you for having us on air today. We appreciate what you guys do. Intercom is a great partner. We love to spread the word. That's what we do here. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> MKEveteransweek.org. Thank you both for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you.